Okay, this is uh, Tenkara Tain prototype number one. Okay, I'm going to try to move as quickly as possible here. Put some glasses on. And uh, we're going to tie this. This thread is actually a lighter thread than you would normally want to use. I know that it's typical with Tenkara fishermen to tie on a, a sewing thread because it's heavier and it's going to get the fly, you know, further down into, uh, into the water faster, but um, I tend to go a little fancier. And I think my history of uh, tying flies, tying, you know, more uh, exotic, if you will, and pupa and pupa-based flies and stuff kind of comes into this as well. So what, all I'm doing is just making a thread base here, essentially a body, if you will, okay? And this is, I'm pretty simple with this. I'm going to be tying in this, uh, this really light wire. It's called, uh, it's called ultra wire. And, uh, again, this, this video is really a prototype. I've never actually filmed myself doing this. And so we'll see how this, uh, how this comes out. I know it's not terribly instructive, but, um, I thought about actually doing a set of videos that talk about the stuff I'm not explaining, like how to put the thread on the hook. Cause I think a lot of people are getting into fly tying at the 10 car level and have never tied a fly before. Meanwhile, I, uh, I jumped in with uh, both feet into some pretty complicated stuff. I was actually over my head and uh, and didn't know it uh, way back when, and I uh, I got myself into some pretty pretty complicated situations. So you see, and I've tied this wire body in, sort of like that, some extra feather work. Take that off, tie it, and I'm gonna bring the thread back to about right there, somewhere between uh, the eye, about a third the way back from the eye. Okay, lastly, uh, we're going to tie in this uh, hackle. This is a uh, gunmetal blue uh, Hungarian partridge, I think, is what it is. It really doesn't matter, other than the fact that you want to have it tied in good, and you're going to want your hackles to kind of plow forward. The idea of, of course, the kabari fly is being something that, um, that pulsates forward when you pull the fly through the water. Now, I really am not getting that effect here initially, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and tie off right here, and, uh, and I'm going to come in and cut that off, and then I'm going to compensate for what didn't happen that way by bringing this forward. I'm trying not to bump the camera at the same time, and as you can see, I'm kind of creating a thread base there, and this one is actually going to look kind of cool. Uh, I have a kind of a thing for this gunmetal blue anyway, and apparently so do the uh, the fish that I throw this to because this fly actually does, whoops, quite well for me. And we'll get this wound maybe one more time like that. And at this point, it's just a matter of tying off. And again, if you're not familiar with these, uh, these different tie-off tools, I don't remember the name of this one actually now because uh, I, I used a Thompson whip finisher for so many years that um, somebody had to show me how to use this one. And um, there it is. I actually would just cut that off for aesthetic reasons.